We're gonna talk about the magic trick that E-Trade does with your money. Here's $20 and the magic trick goes something like this. Buy, sell. Now, my personal disclaimer right up front, I'm doing this video out of pure laziness. I don't know how many times I come across people that are asking me, and they're definitely on the newer side, which is fine, that's, hey, at least you're asking questions, but they ask me, and part of their story is, yeah, and I'm using E-Trade, or I'm thinking about using E-Trade, and I just then gotta go through the typical type up a response. So, what, I'm doing this video, so now I have a link that I can just send these people, like, hey, watch this video in regards to E-Trade. Now, it pertains to more E-Trade, there's also just the broad concept of this topic, but I'm just picking on E-Trade because, uh, well, I'll give them credit. Their marketing department is fantastic. I mean, the E-Trade baby. Who doesn't know who the E-Trade baby is and you know all that sort of good stuff. So props to you, but now let's talk about things from a practical side and from a business perspective in terms of us as traders. Remember, you as a trader, if you're getting into it, it is a business. You are the CEO, so you need to be very aware of costs. And the big cost is broker commissions, broker fees. And in E-Trade's case, it is $10 and, well, excuse me, $9.99. Again, very good marketing, $9.99, one penny below. But we're gonna call it $10. And $10, if you're new, remember, that's to buy. And then when you wanna sell, it's another $10. So not to insult anybody's intelligence, but that's $20 total, hence the magic trick. So what does that mean? Why am I even bringing this up? Well. $20 is what you're paying no matter what. As soon as you enter a position, $20 is what you're paying. Now I realize up front it's $10. When you're getting out, it's $20 and it could potentially be more, but that's, I don't wanna say complicated, but that's kind of besides the point right now. So $20, so what exactly does that mean? That means that you're in the hole ten by $20. You literally start at a loss, $20, that you have to overcome. And $20, I mean, I don't know about you, but to me, I can think about a lot of things to do with $20. That's like a tank of gas, uh, that's you know, some food, depending on where you go. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things you can buy for $20. Just think about it real quick. What could you do for $20? Again, just to bring a little bit more, you know, $20. If you see these in the wallet, you know, you're like, okay, yeah. This is not something that, you know, a penny I can see, well, you drop it on the ground. Yeah, some people are like, all right, that's whatever. But at $20, I guarantee if this drops on the ground, you are reaching down to pick it up to put it back in your pocket. There's no question about that, unless you're like Bill Gates or somebody like that, where I think it would cost him money to do that. But anyways, so $20, think about that. You are $20 in the hole. So why is this important? Well, as traders, we wanna make our life as easy as possible. We wanna run our business as cost efficiently as possible. So right off the bat, putting ourselves at a disadvantage of $20, I mean, that's a lot. So what can we do? Well, the big thing here is just, we gotta research. There are much better alternatives out there than E-Trade. Now there's other people that spend, or that, you know, $10 to buy, $10 to sell, but E-Trade, again, going back to the marketing department, it seems like they're the ones that most people talk about. And there's other places out there that you can find better numbers. So let's just take example. You find one and they charge $5 to buy. I mean, that's a huge difference. And then $5 to sell. So that equals $10 total. In other words, and we're gonna use one of my favorite quotes by Benjamin Franklin, a penny saved is a penny earned. By changing brokers from E-Trade or from anybody that has $10, to $5 or whatever this number is, anything less. We're just gonna use $5 to keep the math nice and clean here. You are saving how much? You're spending 20 and all of a sudden you're spending 10. So that beautiful saying, a penny saved is a penny earned. What is literally going on here? You are literally making $10. Penny saved is a penny earned. Now, now sure you're still in the hole by $10, but there's no way around the hole. The hole is always gonna exist because all brokers charge commission. But the point here is that with a little bit of research, you're all of a sudden getting paid to trade, getting paid $10. So it's literally like somebody's handing you a $10. Oh, you wanna take this trade? Here's $10. Oh, you wanna take this trade? Here's $10. Now, if you can drive that number down even more, well then that, the money that people are handing you, penny saved as a penny earned, gets that much bigger. So 
Keep that in mind in regards to E-Trade. $9.99 per trade is a rip off. Now maybe you like their platform. There's pl research, there's a lot of platforms out there maybe aren't as fancy and as beautiful looking as E-Trades, but they'll do the job just fine. And I say that with the utmost confidence because in my chat room and community, we have people using all sorts of brokers and they're not E-Trade and they're not E-Trade's platform and they're doing just fine. So, you know, don't fall into, hey, I saw a Super Bowl commercial and it was E-Trade, this talking baby, that must be the only broker out there. No, there's a lot of brokers. Now, I fully, another saying I love is, you know, don't complain about a problem unless you have a solution. So I understand, there's a, I'm presenting a problem here. The solution, right now on the screen, there's a link popping up where you can go uh, to uh, my, a blog article that I've written on how to select an online broker. I'll put the link down in the description area too. And you can go through some steps to figure out what broker may be for you. Now in some cases, E-Trade maybe is fine. If you're making like three trades a month and you're a, a swing trader or an investor, okay, maybe in that situation things are fine. But if you wanna be like a day trader and do multiple trades every day, multiple trades every week, think, remember that magic trick, $20 gone, $20 gone, $20 gone, it just doesn't work. And as I alluded to earlier, this $20 could actually be more because when you get more into advanced trading and trade management, you're ideally just scaling out. You're not selling everything at once. You're selling maybe a portion of your shares here and a portion of your shares there. So that is actually getting bigger and bigger because you still gotta pay $10 every time you sell. So this is just assuming you buy 100 shares, sell 100 shares. What happens if you buy 100 shares and then sell 25 shares and then sell another 25 shares and then sell to, I mean, that's just cha-ching, 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 but for E-Trade, not for you. So end of the day, get out there and research, understand that there are much better choices than $9.99 per trade. And the lower you can get, and that seems to be the bar because E-Trade, you know, so the lower you can get below $10, the better and better you're getting and the more and more you're getting paid, going back to the concept of a penny saved is a penny earned. So get out there, do some research, check out the guide, again, link down below. And I think if anything, that'll get you started on the right path for some things to at least consider as you go and do your research for the proper broker for whatever your situation may be.